The diagram below shows the three states of a substance. So this substance can be a solid, liquid, and gas. Now arrows A, V, and C represent whether heat is lost or gained by the substance during each change of state. So which of the following best represents? We know that from liquid to gas. Alright, remember that what have we learned? We have learned that from liquid to gas, uh, you know, there must be heat gain. Okay, there must be heat gain when it comes uh, when liquid turns to gas. Right, and then uh, when gas becomes liquid, there must be heat loss. Right, and then from liquid to solid, there is heat loss. And then from solid to liquid, there must be heat gain by the substance. Okay, so we have, we know this, so now I'll just match it with the A, B, C, and D, and you'll get your answer. Always remember when solid, just, just think of ice, you can only get liquid water if you melt the ice, and melting requires heat gain. Likewise, for you to have uh, water, uh, and Water to become gas, you must apply heat to the boil. And eventually, all the water, if you boil it long enough, will become water vapor, gas. And we know that uh, hot water vapor in the surrounding air will only become uh, water droplets and, and condense into liquid water when it touches a cold surface. Why must it touch a cold surface, a colder surface? That's because the hot water vapor needs to lose heat. And we know that in order for water to become ice, we need to put it in the freezer, and the freezer will make the water lose heat to become solid. So we can just think of the substance as water, even though it states here that this substance might not be water, it's just the three states of substance, but we can just think of this substance as water, and we can just imagine whether it needs heat gain or heat loss, okay?